check, mic, mic check. check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. That's right. The lights are up, and it's a very festive time here. Happy holidays, one and all. All right, let's get down with the week 16. Let's cut through all the muck and mire. Ha! All right, first game up, Chargers at the Titans. I'm taking the Titans. Titans have been looking pretty good over the last seven games. Uh, I think they'll be able to put a, a stop to the Chargers' run of uh, hey, over what, the last three or four seasons. They have not lost a game in December. They'll lose this one. Bills at the Falcons. Falcons are the talk of the town ever since they beat the New York Jets over here in the New York area. I got the Falcons over the Bills. And Chiefs at the Bengals. I got the Bengals. The Chiefs is done. The Bengals need to maintain that seating uh, uh that seeding thing going on over there in the end. AFC North. Raiders at the Browns. Wow, the Browns pulled this kid out and he ran for wood. And where was he all this time? Eric Mann Genius. Well, the Browns are playing for for jobs next year because Holmgren's coming in. And so, hey, you know, I don't want Holmgren to sit behind. I don't, I don't mind being in, in Cleveland. So we don't know what's going to be up with uh, Mangini, but the players are playing for jobs. So I got the Browns over the Raiders. That's right, Jamarcus Russell came in, cleaned up, mopped up duty behind Charlie Fry. Radkowski's hurt. Ah, they don't even stand a chance out of that. That's right, Browns over the Raiders. Seahawks at the Packers. The most memorable matchup between these two teams was Hasselbeck and the coin toss saying, we want the ball, we're going to win. Not today. Packers over the Seahawks. Sorry, my man, the Hawk fan. Okay, Texans at the Dolphins. I need my man, the head coach, to keep his job. So I'm taking the Texans over the Dolphins. All right, the Panthers at the Giants. What a joke, man. Hey, the Giants came out and they stomped out Washington. They're going to stomp out the Panthers. They're going to skin them and hang that pelt up on the wall as an outgoing present for those who come to the Meadowlands. That's right. Panthers going to get walked by the Giants. Jaguars at the Patriots. Jaguars, you had your chance. You blew it. Forget it. Patriots are on a roll. Because as you know what uh, Bill Belichick says, stats are for losers. You just worry about wins and losses. I'm just paraphrasing that. Okay, Patriots over the Jaguars. Buccaneers at the Saints. Okay, rebuilding for the Buccaneers. They've been going through some stuff. Ah, not too worried about them guys. But the Saints, wow. The Saints got shocked by the Cowboys. Amazing. Bounce back pretty good. They're going to, you know, mop up these cats all over the place. Saints over the Buccaneers. Broncos at the Eagles. Wow, the Broncos have been exposed. And they're coming east to play the Eagles. I got the Eagles. It's going to get ugly. All right, Ravens at the Steelers. This is the no love match coming up. It's going to be hard, ugly, beating them up and everything. I got the Steelers over Ray Ray and the crew. That kid Ray Rice has been doing his thing since he's gotten a starting job down there in Baltimore. Kudos to the young man from the New York City area. Actually, he's from New Rochelle, just in case you guys want to get funky. Alrighty then, I left off with the Ravens Steelers now. The next game is the Rams at the Cardinals. Hey, Cardinals, what's going on here? You guys got to maintain that NFC uh, West uh, thing there. And I don't know if the Rams can play a little spoiler and make you have to play other games. I got the Cardinals. Lions at the 49ers. Man, the 49ers have let me down so much this year, and I thought they would do a lot better than this. They got the Lions coming in. I got the 49ers. Jets at the Colts. Hey, I stopped drinking the Jet Fuel a while ago. Uh, I'm taking the Colts on this one. The Jets could have wrapped up a few things last week by taking out the Falcons. Cowboys at the Redskins. I got the Cowboys on this one because the Redskins didn't show up last week against the, the Giants. And the Cowboys shocked the world. They shocked me. Uh, you know, an amazing thing, though, is that after the game, it was, you know, well publicized that they didn't like what Dungey had to say about them having no chance against the Saints. Bottom line is, why are you worry about what somebody says in the booth, in the studio booth, when you got to worry about what's on the field? Duh, focus on the game. You guys got to worry about it. That's why you have so much problems in December. You're always worried about all this outside stuff, and then you're going to worry about Tony Dungy. 
He's just analyzing and making an assessment of, of a game and projecting, of, you know, some scenarios and from what he's seen as a coach. But no, the Cowboys want to take it to the extreme level and, you know, run around like that's their mantra or, 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 or whatever it takes. I thought Jerry Jones was paying you guys good enough money. I thought it was, it was supposed to be good enough for you to wear that star on your hat and for you to come out and talk about Tony Jungji was your motivation so that you could play and win that game. Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if the Redskins do get you. I'm picking the Cowboys, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Redskins did do you. All right, the last game and the last contest is the Vikings at the Bears, and we've got some turmoil up there in the Northland. Wow, is it true that far flew children under the bus? But hey, we always have controversies a lot of times throughout the years of quarterbacks and coaches going at it. There's also a famous film clip of Phil Simms arguing with Bill Parcells. So, with that being said, you fans out there, especially you Viking fans, don't don't worry about that too much because the media likes to, you know, jump on some stuff. They need something to report on. And if it was really nothing, if it was something that Favre had felt that he wanted to talk about, that's his prerogative because your guys keep sticking a microphone in his face. All right, that's Mr. Batch for this holiday season. And uh, once again, I'm just going to run down and give you the winners uh, of the contest coming up for this week. And happy holidays, Titans, Falcons, Falcon, <laughs> Bengals, Browns, Packers, Texans, Giants, Patriots, Saints, Eagles, Steelers, Cardinals, 49ers, Colts, Cowboys, Vikings. Happy holiday, everyone. Stay blessed. I'm out. Peace.